Welcome to Wednesday Night Football. On a night when red and blue go head to head to see who will be seated in the White House for the next four years, we have a much bigger battle of our own. It's red versus yellow and the prize is just that much better. That's right, Carshalton Athletic take on Merstham with a place in the FA Trophy first round up for grabs. In team news, captain Paris Hamilton Downs is out with a knee injury, with Arnold Haxiao stepping into the midfield three. Tommy Bradford starts again after his two goals last weekend, and they are joined by Kashani Samuels, who will know this ground better than most, having played for the Motesiders back in 2018. Merstham have made five changes from the side that lost 6-0 to Cray last weekend, top scorer Calvin Ekpetita the most notable inclusion after he was rested for that loss. Former Robin Ryan Healy is also on the bench. October was a month to forget for Merstham, as they only managed to pick up one solitary point, which came in a 2-2 draw against East Thurrock. Car Shorten's away form wasn't much better, as they went unsuccessful in all four of their games away from home. Both will be hoping for a slightly better start to November. The victors of this will take on Barking in the first round of the Cup. We just don't know when that will be. With new lockdown laws coming into play at midnight tonight, this could be our last fix of football for a good few weeks. My name is Chris Brenter, and as always, I'll bring you all the action from this FA Trophy third round qualifying tie at the Whiskey Bible Stadium. And it's all here on Robins TV. And we're off and underway here at the Whiskey Bible Stadium. Proctor brings it into the Merstham half and put the ball over the top. Cheadle, high cross towards Clunis, who gets onto the end of it. Hits the ball straight into the ground and it's collected by Dickinson. Fisher, cross in to Ottawa, Bradford on the edge, second chance, and in the third attempt it's cleared by Carl Shorten, but only as far as Zach Pettita, now it's out wide with Bobby Mills, who slips and the ball goes straight into Patrick Oman's hands, Reed. Another long ball, this time over the top for Clunis, who does it fantastically well to bring it down. But it's well saved. But only as far as David Fisher, who slides in at the back post to send the ball cascading off the crossbar and in past Tyler Dickinson to give Carl Shorten a well-deserved lead. It's that long ball yet again over the top. Clunis got onto it, forced a good save from Dickinson. But like I said, the ball only fell as far David Fisher, I just want to ask the fireworks, look what Carl Shorten go and do. Ottawa, cuts inside, back heel to Fisher, oh, who looks for clues at the back post. Bradford, good touch. Ottawa, one more out to Fisher. Can he cut in like he likes to do? And he's a whisker away, he takes a deflection, he goes out for a corner. Corner goes in all the way across. Proctor flaps at the ball. Ottawa still with it. Cutting inside the box. Pulls it back to Fisher. Forces a good save. And Clunis was there. If not for Bertie Lloyd, who gets the ball clear, it would have been 2 0. Again, Fisher cutting in onto that right foot. Played in, bounces over towards the back post, played back inside, Ottawa! Yeah. And no sooner have I said that Harry Ottawa wants to grab a goal, the number nine steps up and does it. Corner bounces away to the back post, and it looked like a Merston defender played it back into the towards the penalty spot. It was picked up by Harry Ottawa, who had all the time in the world to pick his spot and slot the ball past Tyler Dickinson. After one touch football that time. Clunis turns, turns back, gets a shot away, but it's blocked. Ottawa with the knock, looking for Fisher at the back post. Ottawa gets his header away. Force is a good save. Back to Leahy. His cross gets in, and the header's met. It's bumbling around. Axel gets it clear. Played in, and it's Matt. <coughs> oh, 
a nasty challenge on Elliot Bolton. And Bolton is tackled by the referee. The referee sends it out to Harry Ottaway. First time towards Fisher at the back post. The pass wasn't good enough. The Merson player is not very happy. And that reckless challenge from the referee. Coming off is number 11, Bobby Mills. And he's being replaced by number 12, Omar Folks. Gets a shot away. I think that may actually be the first shot on target for Merston. Because even if it's close, the linesman looks keen to get his flag in the air. Leahy is shot wide. To all tails. To the edge of the area. It's away from Coulson Avenue in October. Bradford with a great ball to Fisher. Can he be the man to send this tie beyond Merston? Samuels, great ball to Ottaway. He hits the crossbar. Plenty of time and almost with a toe poke. Sent the ball beyond Tyler Dickinson. Ottaway, Samuels, finds Ottaway again. Too many yellow shirts for him to hit it. He finds Price. And Myron Clunis can't put it in the goal. Free kick opportunity for Merston. Jack Leahy's ball. Oh, and what a stop. Patrick Oman, take a bow. Point blank range. The ball falls to Calvin Ekpetita, who looked destined to put the ball in the net. Patrick Oman. Bradford inside the box. Gets the cross across the back post to find Harry Ottaway. He punches the air. He knows what that goal means. And that will surely take the wind out of the Merston sails. Just as the home side were looking to pull themselves back into it. Tommy Bradford on the left-hand side puts the ball across the face of the goal to find Harry Ottaway. And he probably won't have an easier finish this season. Going off for Carl Shorten. Number 17, David Fisher. And a third sub for Merston. Going off is EJ Mensa. And he's been replaced by former Robin, number 14, Ryan Healy. Nice to see how fondly he's remembered by the away fans. Carl Shorten fans singing his name. <laughs> Harry Ottaway felt the force of that challenge. He's still on the floor. But Harry Ottaway, two goals and a fantastic performance in the Carl Shorten number nine. Only a second start of the season. And he's replaced by number 20, Paul Anser. Anser making his first appearance of the season. Fantastic ball by Samuels. Finds Clunas at the back. And it's almost in into the Merstam net by one of their own defenders. Which will see Kelvin Manuel join the fray. About five minutes worth of action. In the 89th minute would do. What a ball that is. Out to Hector on the left. To Bradford. Can he finish it off? And what a save. Tyler Dickinson. Bradford just stepped in. Hit his shot straight at Tyler Dickinson, who still did well to make himself large. And stop the fourth. Another shot, this time from Ryan Healy. How much he'd like to grab a goal against his former side. Corner comes in. And it's put in. 
by Omar, folks. In the ninth, in the ninetieth minute, the ball finds Omar, folks, at the back post. Who on the volley puts it past Patrick Oman. It won't make a difference to the result. I'll take Petita. Goes past Cheadle. And forces a great save from Patrick Oman. Corner in. And it's met by Yellowhead. A rather acrobatic attempt from Yannick Monga. And there is the final whistle. A late surge from the home team, but it wasn't quite enough. There's two goals from Harry Ottaway and one from David Fisher it was enough to see Carl Shorten go out victors here at the Whiskey Bible Stadium. The last game of football we may have for four weeks. And not a bad one at all, especially if you're a Robins fan. <laughs>